what's happening guys silent mike super training gym mark wells power cast reebok one showing you guys i want to talk to you guys about how to utilize mark bell's slingshot in your training how we at super training use it how i personally like to use it uh, and a couple ways that you guys can utilize it to help you get stronger uh, and train a little bit safer uh, if you guys saw there i did attempt a 405 bench pr uh, that you'll see a little bit later but let's get on into the slingshot for those that don't know what it is, uh, it's an upper body supported device. Uh, it allows you to handle more weight, more volume in your training, uh, helps your form, and it also protects your shoulders. So if you're feeling banged up, it's a great thing to use. Uh, typically how we use it uh, is just throw it on after our raw work and continue with the same rep scheme we were doing for our working weight. Example, if you were doing a three, uh, 15 for a 5x5. Five five. Once you're done with that, throw on the slingshot, go to a 335, hit it for 5, 345, hit it for 5, and possibly even a 355 and hit it for 5. That's something uh, we do often, probably at least once a week. A couple other ways to use it. Uh, if you're just feeling banged up in general, uh, you could just use it for your whole workout. Uh, Mark's been dealing with some elbow pain, so every uh, second bench day he just uses it for the entire workout uh, to use extra reps extra sets without hurting his shoulder at all another way to help you increase strength um, is something we'll do is say uh, we'll go back to that same example you're doing 315 for a 5x5 five five. Uh, after you complete that 5x5 five five, we'll throw the slingshot on keep the weight at 315 and maybe do one to three sets uh, of an, as many reps as possible so keeping it at that weight Typically with the slingshot, you can almost double your reps. So we'll then we'll do the five by five raw, and then one to three sets of maybe uh, anywhere from eight to 12 reps with the slingshot on. It's a way to uh, overload that upper end of the uh, range of motion, the kind of lockout, overload your triceps, overload uh, basically everything without over fatiguing your shoulders and getting injured. Um, another way, probably the last way that we do use it is uh, overload itself. Um, getting closer to a meet, there has been some research to show uh, handling over 100% can help fire up that CNS uh, and allow you to get a little bit stronger. So in peaking, uh, maybe you do uh, three sets of two at 90%. After that, we'll throw the slingshot on, hit it for 95% for a double, 100% for a double, then 105 for a single, and maybe 107, 110% of your one rep max for a single, uh, just to get you all fired up. Similar to a heavy walkout or a reverse band movement uh, that people have used for years. On this day, uh, my shoulder wasn't feeling great. Um, I was also about to deload uh, because I have some more training, hard training coming up. And I was working it with my boy Smokey whose shoulder was hurting. So I said, hey man, uh, let's just hit some triples, keep the fatigue off our shoulders, and also let's just use a slingshot the whole day. Uh, so we started with uh, 225, we started with the slingshot. Smokey's bench well over 400 pounds. Um, I've benched 365 for a triple. Uh, so obviously 225 is not that heavy, but our shoulders were hurt. So what we did is use a 2XL, which is a size too big for us, um, for 225. Then, then an XL reactive. And then a 2XL original, which is a little bit stronger than the reactive. And then an XL uh, original for our top set. Uh, we use triples since we were both feeling banged up. Often people think uh, lighter weights, higher reps when you're feeling banged up. Uh, but sometimes the time under tension is what's causing that issue or pain. So doing a, a moderate weight and less reps uh, will often be actually better for that injury, especially when it comes to uh, benching and shoulders. Uh, this is about 385 or so. I think we're now in the XL or 2XL um, original. I can't remember which. Weights were feeling really good, you know, I saved some energy. Um, is this the best workout ever? No. Is it a decent indicator of where my strength is? For me it is because uh, often when I could triple something in a slingshot, I can single it raw. So it doesn't count until I do it and it doesn't count until I do it on the platform, but for me in my next training cycle, it's a good indicator. Uh, if I'm not competing, I normally don't hit one rep maxes in the gym, but I do have indicators or indication lists that allow me to know uh, where my progress is and where I stand, so then I can choose my weights for my next couple of weeks of training. 
sets of 10 doesn't always get that done. Sets of 8 doesn't always get that done. But uh, kind of off of 5 rep max or 3 rep max, um, or for maybe some people it's a pause squat or their front squat, uh, their close grip. Uh, for today, my slingshot. I know my slingshot triple and what it kind of equals uh, for my raw single. So I know I'm creeping up on that 390 uh, to 400 pound range, maybe even 405 uh, for my raw once I peak and get some more training done. Here's that top set. I think my best ever with the slingshot is 400 for one. Um, like I said, everything felt good. Blew that first one up. Second one got a little sketch. And this third one, I just missed groove, but the strength was still there. Once I get it back in that groove, you can see kind of transfer uh, from my elbows being tucked to that flare. Uh, and back over my neck was just too slow on that third rep. Uh, but I felt really good with that. Really good with that set. Like I said, Smokey's already benched like 411 or 413, whatever the kilo is, in a meet. Uh, but he's just coming back on some rehab. A little bit closer grip, and his shoulder's banged up. So he bangs out an easy three. This slingshot uh, can almost be compared to something like a lifting belt. Obviously, it's not allowed in competition. Um, it does help arguably a little bit more than a lifting belt, but when you're thinking about utilizing it or how to use light it, utilize it in your training, hopefully those are some ideas for you guys. We get that question all the time, and you can also be creative with it. Uh, Brandon Lilly benched well over 600 pounds raw. Uh, he uses it for heavy overloaded eccentrics, uh, clearly in his off season because eccentrics, heavy and s slow eccentrics can beat, up, beat you up. But if you throw the slingshot on, it becomes a little bit safer, handle anywhere from maybe 75 to even 100%, and you just control the negative of the bench press with the slingshot on. Building that muscle, the eccentric gets you a little bit sore, a little bit beat up, but it does build a crazy amount of strength. Other people use it for their speed work. Uh, a, a typical conjugate program, maybe you're doing seven sets of three against some chains uh, on your secondary day. Then you'll add the slingshot, a little bit of weight for another maybe one to five sets. And it allows you to explode faster uh, and recruit more muscles because it is accommodating resistance. It is lighter at the bottom, heavier at the top. It teaches you to explode into that uh, range of motion and explode all the way to the top of the bench. Here's just a little bit of accessory work, just showing you guys what I do today. Uh, my secondary bench day, I already hit uh, a little bit of that warm-up for you with the face pulls. Then I had overhead one day a week. I do close grip one day, weight, one day a week. I do overhead after my benching. Uh, my goal today was three sets of four, about 185 pounds. It moved decently. I tried to do most of them without a belt, uh, but I ended up doing my last set with a belt. I don't know how much uh, overhead smoke he does, but he's very strong, uh, very efficient. He's kind of built to bench, but not only that, like genetically and leverages, but he's built himself up to be a good bencher. He's got big chest, big arms, big shoulders, and that's what it's going to take if you want to become a big bencher. He's benched 411 pounds, as I mentioned before, at 181, uh, which is not a world record, but is pretty damn strong. Here's my second to last set. Like I said, feeling good. I think if I get this overhead well over uh, 200 pounds that everything will come along. I have overhead press 225 for one, but I would like to do 225 for reps. Sorry about the lighting here, it gets a little dark. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Grab yourself a slingshot at howmuchyoubench.net. If you guys are interested, like I said, if you have any kind of shoulder pains or anything, it is a game changer, a life changer, allows you to bench uh, while getting over those nagging pains. Like this bitch, share this bitch, subscribe to that bitch. I'm out of here, guys. Thanks for all the support. Appreciate it.